Transportation systems have been pretty much shut down. Aviation is as good as stopped. Private transportation has dramatically reduced. Electricity generation has, has gone down. And when you put all these aspects together, we find pretty dramatic drops in emissions uh, up until now, until April, May. In terms of daily emissions, emissions have gone down around about 17% on average at the worst of the lockdowns around about April. So making different assumptions out to the end of 2020, we estimate emissions to drop 4%, maybe 8%, uh, depending on how those restrictions change over time. In terms of relative drops, so percentage change, if you just take 5% as a nice round number, you'll have to go back quite some years to find relative changes as big as that. You know, you're talking about World War II or these big global events. In absolute terms, this will be by far the biggest drop, but then that's because our emissions are so high now. So a 5% drop from very high emissions leads to a very big absolute drop in emissions. So in history, this will be the biggest single year drop in absolute terms. Relative changes, yeah, certainly the biggest drop for decades. The main driver behind the emission changes is surface transport, land transport. That's dropped rather substantially and that's also a very big share of global emissions. Industrial emissions is probably the next biggest component, although that's quite uncertain how far they've gone down. Uh, electricity generations have dropped down somewhat, although not as dramatic drops as some may think because I guess people are at home, people are still working, but you know offices aren't running, some industries aren't running. In terms of relative changes, aviation has had the biggest impact. Basically the aviation industry has been wiped out, but then aviation is only about 3% of global emissions, so the, the net effect is not such a huge ef effect on, on global emissions. Out of this crisis, one thing that we may see come out of it positive is renewable energy. So at the moment most of the impacts are on the fossil industries. Coal, oil and gas are getting pretty heavily affected, particularly coal and, and oil. A lot of coal power plants in many countries are getting very old, so the economics of those coal power plants were looking so good. Whereas if you compare that to solar, wind, much cleaner technologies, their marginal costs are basically zero. So as long as it's sunny and the wind is blowing, then they're producing uh, copious amounts of um, electricity or, or energy. We sort of see effects around the world, world where people are turning off the fossil fuels and keeping the, the renewable energies on, if you like, and through this crisis we'll probably see fossil fuels impacted more significantly than, than renewable energies. So maybe in a year or two time we'll find that renewable energy is, relatively speaking, doing much better than, than fossil fuels. So the good news about this is that maybe after a rebound, after we get back to normal, we might find that global emissions have actually peaked and we're already on a downward trajectory because the economic benefits of renewable energy over fossil fuels.